welcome back. I am bringing you stories of some of the real heroes of South India. Now I'll tell you about another amazing man, M.B. Chinnapai, a forest stranger in Nagarkoli in Karnataka. He fought a difficult and often dangerous battle against poachers and miners. Stories of Nagarhole. When I came here. The story of Kem Chinnappa is the extraordinary story of a 35 year long struggle against poachers, miners, and encroachers, all for his first love, the forests of Nagarhole. When Chinnappa was posted at Nagarhole National Park as a forest ranger in 1970, there were more people than animals in the forest. Cultivation was rampant on the forest grasslands, and the people inside would invite poachers to protect their crops. In 1972, a poacher named Paradi Timma entered the scene. No one knew who he was or where he was. He carried out his operations in the cover of darkness. Beautiful elephant, known tuskers, he shot. He killed and removed the ivory. Then I took a challenge. For one year, Chinnapa tracked and chased Paradi Timma. One day, I heard gunshot, three, four gunshots around uh, midnight, I think. We saw the searchlight, then we shot at them. Afterwards, uh, I never seen him. People said uh, there was no more. That was just the beginning. Under Chinnapa's watchful eye, poaching declined steeply and cultivation on the forest land was stopped. And within a decade, the spotted deer and sambar returned. When I joined the department, I thought within 30 years, it will, it's better to forget Nagarhole. But today, another 100 years, uh, it will survive. But Chinnapa had made enemies. The poachers, the corrupt politicians and officials all ganged up in one final assault in 1992. One person has been shot and they brought it inside the forest and they dumped it. People started packing it is Chinnapa. So. The villagers were instigated against Chinnapa and a 300 strong mob set fire to 96 square kilometers of the forest, also burning down Chinnapa's ancestral home. All the 24 years, what I saved in a day, they burned. Chinnapa resigned seven years before the end of his term. His fight for Nagarhole just took a different form. He became a volunteer, teaching more than one lakh children of the surrounding villages about the forest, educating them about the importance of conservation. I got a very good dividend from the people. I influenced through the children. That's how poaching has been come down like anything. As he winds up for the day, knowing his work is far from over, he renews his resolve not to let any harm come to Nagarhole not on his watch.